Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be diving into what should be in your contract as it pertains to your mini session. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say mini session as it pertains to photography, I have a whole YouTube video on that. I'll link it below. Go check that out. Now that we know the difference between a mini session and our just full regular sessions, let's talk about what needs to be in our contract for our mini session specifically. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a photographer and I help photographers start and grow their photography businesses the right way. And one way I do that is by teaching them how to do mini sessions really, really well. And if we're going to do a mini session really well, we have to have a good contract that not only protects you, but protects your client as well. Any good contract should protect both parties. And we are going to be looking at our mini session contract that way. Before I dive into that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. The first thing that needs to be in your contract is a clear description of what is going to be delivered with your mini session. So unlike your full sessions, mini sessions have a lot of restrictions around them. They're a shorter amount of time. They get usually fewer images or pictures or digital files, whatever you are saying comes with the mini session. It's very restricted. That needs to be extremely clear in your contract. Of course, you've communicated this well up front before you ever took their money. This is just saying they completely understand for this amount of money, they're getting this much time and they're getting these images. That needs to be defined out really well in black and white in your contract, just as well as it is on your sales page. Within that portion, you also need to be clear of how you're going to deliver whatever it is that they're getting. So if you are doing a 30 minute mini session and they get 10 digital images, how are they getting those 10 digital images? However you plan to deliver those, that needs to be in the contract as well. Now let's move on to payment. This is a big part of it because a lot of times if somebody's going to have a problem, it's going to be when it comes to the money. You need to have it in your contract what the payment schedule is. Are you getting all the money up front? Is there a retainer? However you plan to do it, that just needs to be clearly stated in the contract. Of course, all this information is on the site as well before they ever decided to purchase it, but we need to have it here as well. I have another YouTube video on this about what you need to do if you're doing an outdoor session and it rains. Well, this is the part of the contract that needs to be clearly stated in there, and it's what if you have to cancel or reschedule? What is going to be done about that? That needs to be here in your contract as well. I go into more of that if you're hosting an outdoor session and you're worried about the weather of ways I have done it in the past for my outdoor mini sessions. I will link that YouTube video below. But whatever method you plan to do for rescheduling in case of bad weather or if you are sick or if there's a family emergency on your end, what is going to happen for the session? Also with this, you need to include the refund policy. What is the refund policy? That needs to be extremely clear before they purchase, but also just as clear in the contract. Are you giving refunds? How does that work? For me personally, I make mine non-refundable, but they are transferable, meaning they could sell it or give it to somebody else. Or if they contact me and say, hey, I'm not gonna be able to make it, what I do is I post it in my VIP Facebook group and one of my other clients can grab it. A lot of my sessions sell out, so this is a great way for somebody else to have the opportunity to come to the mini session. If you do not have a VIP Facebook group and that is something that you want, I created a whole program for you called VIP Client Blueprint of how I built my VIP Facebook group and I also used my email list to cultivate my clients and also to contact my clients for mini sessions. That's a big, huge part of how my mini sessions sell out. I will link that below if you're interested. And lastly, a clause that you need to have in your contract is a model release giving you the right to use these images however you choose. Because here's the thing, 
you are going to do this mini session again and again and again. And this is a portfolio builder for you. These pictures could go on your website. These pictures are going to be used to market next year's mini session. You need to be able to use these and you need to have the rights to be able to use them. So make sure that you have a model release in your contract. I know that all of this legal talk and contracts and all of that, this is not the funnest part, but it is 100% necessary if you want to do mini sessions and enjoy them and do them well. There's nothing that can rain on the parade of mini sessions worse than not having a contract in place and someone ask for a refund or them coming after you after you use one of the images you took of them for marketing for next year and they don't like that. We need to make sure to have things in place that protect us as the business owner, but also protects the client so they get what we promise them from the mini session. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I have to let you know, as a YouTube subscriber, you are getting 50% off of my program, Mini Session Blueprint. All you have to do is use code YouTube whenever you are checking out. This program is my marketing strategy of how I get people to purchase my mini sessions. So I go over email marketing, I go over social media marketing, and I let you know how I've taken a page from Taylor Swift's book to market my mini sessions. You're going to get it all for 50% off. So I have a link in the description below. Use code YouTube at checkout, and I'll see you there. Bye for now.